Connecting the Dots, the Stargazer's Way. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Did you know that the International Astronomical Union officially recognizes 88 constellations? 88 constellations may sound like a lot, but from where most people live, we can only see a few dozen of them. There's only one region in the world where you can see all 88 constellations. And that's the equator. During the course of the year, you can see all the constellations, and some of them are pretty strange. We're all familiar with the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear, or Orion the Hunter. But did you know that from the equator and places south of it, you can see constellations representing more modern things like microscopes and furnaces? You're probably wondering who came up with all these constellations and how can we come up with our own star patterns? Well, that's the focus of this episode. As Jack Harkheimer often said, make the stars your own. So we're going to play Connect the Dots the Stargazer's Way. Let's show you. For thousands of years, our ancestors have looked up at the night sky and wondered what it all was. Even as recently as 100 years ago, before the proliferation of street lights, if you went outside on a clear moonless night, you could see thousands of stars right from your backyard. Without a scientific understanding of what the stars actually were, many ancient cultures thought the stars were either distant campfires or even gods. Each of these points of light was fixed in position relative to the others, appearing to rise in the east and set in the west night after night. Imagine how magical, mysterious, and awesome the heavens must have seemed to our ancestors. As a person went from youth to old age, they would see the same stars in the same locations year after year, the same at age five as at age 50. And the sky seemed so high above them that the stars were unreachable as if they were attached to the inside of a large bowl with us at the center. We humans love to make patterns out of the things we see that are fairly random, like seeing the shape of a bunny rabbit in the clouds on a lazy summer day. So although the distribution of the stars in the night sky is random, your brain immediately wants to make patterns out of the brightest stars. So as our ancestors spent their evenings gazing at the stars, they would play a celestial game of connect the dots, making patterns, both big and small, that represented objects, animals, or people. We call these patterns constellations. There are currently 88 officially recognized constellations in modern astronomy. Which constellations you can see depends on where on Earth you're observing. For example, people who live in Australia can see some of the same stars that we can see from North America, but not all of them, and vice versa. Australians can see the Southern Cross, but only a few of us in North America can. North Americans can see Ursa Major, the Great Bear, and Lyra the Harp, but New Zealanders can see Pavo the Peacock and Horologium the Clock. The only place on Earth where you can see all 88 constellations is at the equator. So, as people around the world played connect the dots with the stars, they would create fanciful stories about each of the constellations they created. Many of these stories were used to pass down cultural values of morality or tell stories about love, courage, or honor. As northern astronomers began visiting the southern hemisphere, they made their own constellations and named them after more modern objects and animals like microscopes and toucans. Sadly, because we have so many street lights today, many of the fainter stars are invisible from where most people live. Therefore, we have gotten out of the habit of creating new stories and new star patterns. But think of it. Next time you go out camping, do as Jack Horkheimer often said, make the stars your own. Start connecting the dots and see what fun patterns you can come up with. Who knows, you might be the first person to create the constellation of the smartphone. It's easy to do when you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.